Roger, welcome to the channel. I'm always asked during my day working as a building surveyor for explanations on faults and defects and defect diagnosis, etc. One of the things I got asked this week was verdigris. You've all seen it. It's the green encrustation, the stain on copper or bronze. Normally in building situation, it's the green, uh, like an encrustation you get around a, uh, a pipe, a copper pipe even on a T-junction or below a border fix valve or something. A lot of people think it's a leak, and sometimes it can be a leak. It's where you know the pipe has sealed itself, but often it is caused by the plumber leaving the flux on the pipe after he's soldered it. Uh, well, you should really wipe it off with wire wool, but let me take you in and show you some fine examples of verdigree. I've got my airing covered, and I'll just talk you through it a little bit. Okay, this is my airing cupboard upstairs. Made this door myself many, many years ago. This is normally covered with a uh, full up of rugby boots drying, something like that. If you look down here, it's a bit dark. You can see what I'm talking about. This green patina that's on the copper pipes, this is called verdigris. Sometimes what happens is they leak and it will create this rusting material and it will self-seal. I mean, it's been like this for donkey's years. But in this situation, this is f flat and it's smooth. This is just where the build, the plumber has literally not wiped the flux off. Same as down here, a bit messy, but you can see where this tracks down, you can see that there's been a run here. Here, and that's a bit encrusted. That is where there has been a leak. Down here you can clearly see where it's white and it's more encrusted. This is where there's been a leak. It's less like verdigris. And down here, really bad, really encrusted. It's not smooth. This is where there's been a leak. But there's no leak at the moment. I'll put my hand in there. I feel that as dry as a bone, what happens is it self-seals. So when you come in a house and you see this, Nine times out of ten, if it's this type of verdigree, it's caused by a plumber being lazy and not clearing the flux off. If you have a different type like this, it's normally caused by a leak. Just get your hands in there, feel to see whether there's a, a leak still. If there, you can't feel anything, get a paper towel or something, wipe it all off. See if it's a leak, if it's wet, wipe it off. Come back a few minutes later, feel again. If it's still wet, you know you've got a leak. If it's dry like this, and this has been dry for a decade, you know you're fine. So there you go, another little handyman hack to help you out, hopefully. You know, if you do come across 30 degree, don't worry about it too, don't worry about it too much. Feel if it's wet, if it is, you'll have to do something about it. Maybe it's dry and it's, you know, been there for years, don't worry. Because unless you're going to do a power flush, you're probably okay. You're going to power flush it, you're probably going to find you're going to get a great big mess everywhere from uh, where it's resealed itself. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give me a big old thumbs up. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe, share, tell your friends about the channel, help me build it up so I can keep producing content and helping you guys out just by sharing my knowledge. Cheers then, bye. See ya.